22 News is working for you with the rules and regulations for limos on our state roads. 22 News reporter C.R. Speller is live in the studio with that information. Rich, it's important to note that prior to the crash, the victims who were inside of that limo said that the vehicle was a last resort. I went to a limo company in Holyoke this morning where we found out some red flags that might have played a part in this incident. Exclusive limo service in Holyoke operates dozens of limos ranging in various sizes. Owner David White told 22 News their biggest limo seats 12 comfortably while others fit 8 to 10, adding that the limo involved in the crash was extremely stretched and ordered to fit 17 passengers. White said some states consider anything over that to be a bus and must follow those regulations. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo also announced the driver was not operating with a proper license. If you have a bigger vehicle, you have to have a CDL license for over 15. And I don't know what the New York rules are, but that's a federal rule. White also said that limos have the same inspection requirements that your car would have, but they must go through a commercial inspection. Anyone driving a commercial vehicle with passengers must also have a medical certificate and waiver listing any medical conditions before renting a limo. White always suggests seeing it in person first. And we've also posted a link on our website allowing you to see safety and inspection records for limo companies across the country. Ciara Speller, 22 News.